as Jonathan Greening is the player of the season. That's been a terrific turnaround for Jonathan because a year ago when you were sitting in the, the Borough TV studios, if we'd said at that stage Jonathan Green was going to be voted by the fans player yeah. of the year, would have said, well, he has a lot of work still to do, but he's done it. That's right. I think it was a big year for him last season. First season in the Premier League, all that experience that he, uh, he gained was going to be a benefit this season. We knew that. He worked hard in the summer, worked hard last season, um, and now he's getting the just rewards. Been and tremendous, also, been tremendous throughout the season. His work rate, his linking up play, uh, needs to score more goals, like you see on there. Um, but that's another game, side of the game which you can develop. Have you enjoyed this season? I have. I said at the beginning it would be a roller coaster. Um, it certainly has been. But I think tremendous strides and huge progress has been made. When you look at our season compared to last season, our home record is fantastic. Two, two defeats. All season. Uh, one of them to Arsenal, which is no disgrace. But the quality of our football at times has been, I think, breathtaking. Uh, some of the highlights, the wins against Liverpool, Manchester United, Sunderland, Newcastle. Um, I think what we've brought to the fans is uh, winning football, exciting football. What we need to gain now is a little bit more consistency. And you're getting the fans back. Stats would say an average attends this season of over 30,000. Most important. I said from, from the first day, Again, that what I want is full houses here. What I want is to create a team in which the, the Borough fans are, are proud to be associated with. And I think we're creating that. Most definitely this season, averaging from 27 over 30 is tremendous. And I think we looked at that last game, a tremendous send-off for the home fans. And one in which we say, look, this is how we're progressing. This is the type of football that we play. Yes, we need consistency uh, away from home. But come back, watch us at the riverside, and we're creating quite a fortress there. Steve, just a, a thought with regard to Janinho. I, I bet you, at the beginning of the season, in August, when Janinho was signed there, you must have thought, right, this is it. Um, and then we were all there with Borough TV for that pre-season friendly in Medina. It, it really destroyed so many of your plans early in the campaign, didn't it? We didn't get our players to late last season anyway, um, for the start. But to lose one of uh, Janinho's quality right at the uh, the end of pre-season. was very, very disappointed because I felt he was the, the final piece in the jigsaw, uh, the player that could unlock defences, that could thrill the crowd. I think Janino is one of them players, he's come back to Middlesbrough for the third time. Players like Janino, players like Cantona, they search their whole career for a place, a club, a coach, a manager, an environment to settle down and play the best football. And I think Janino has found that in Middlesbrough. He's been other places and not settled so well. But every time at Middlesbrough, he's done very well. Unfortunate with the injury, worked so hard to come back. Tremendous amount of work. When he came back, fantastic. What an what a injection of enthusiasm, uh, commitment, experience that we had in the team then, which really set us off on a, a very good run of uh, undefeated games. And he had a dip, which was obvious. Um, it just, when I look forward, I think of next season, when he's had a pre-season, he's had a rest in the summer, pre-season, work, the quality that he's got when he's gained a bit more strength, it's going to be a massive asset for us next year. What would you say to Middlesbrough supporters wondering whether they should renew season tickets for next time? Around? God, I, think, um, I think it's a must. Um, being a neutral, away from it, mm. I certainly would. Some of the football we've played this season has been tremendous. Janino coming back to full fitness. Massimo's second season in the Premier League. We've already seen what he can do. Mm. There's just an excitement and a buzz. And hopefully we sign the right players in the summer. Just a couple that's needed. Well, that's down to you. Well, that's right. <laughs> um, all I can say is that we're very optimistic. I'm looking forward to it. You said to me earlier on, you're looking forward to a break. and mm. uh, Yes and no because I know there's still so much work to be done here. Uh, we're only really touching on the surface at the present moment. Next year is a big year. We need the supporters, we need the fans backing. We need that average going from over 30 to full houses more often. When we've had that, you've seen that this season. The atmosphere's been absolutely fantastic, tremendous. And it's a great boost to the players to be able to do that and play in front of full houses. Fans are so important. They're, they are the most important people in a football club. We need them. So renew your season tickets and bring along a friend. Just introduce them to the, what we're doing, what we're trying to do. With an average attendance sure. of over 30,000, we have to have a 60,000 stadium if everybody does Well, that. <laughs> that would be nice, that would be nice. But we'll try and play the, uh, the kind of football we've played this season. 
give the entertainment, but also give them winning football. Brilliant stuff. Steve, thanks so much indeed for your company. And as I say, I'm already looking forward to next time round starting again in August. But enjoy your summer. It's thanks very much. Stuff. Thanks Cheers. for your company.